Well, at least my car still looks good. Yeah, we don't have to refresh anything on your car or my car, other than like making them run correctly. That's important. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we have a plan? So, so the plan is to take the old short block that we had an over rev on, which yeah. is probably not the best idea, but it's our current idea. Quick backstory: this is the motor that was in my car right before we went to Japan. It over revved and destroyed the head. Um, it's all, all messed up. And a valve hit the piston. Crushing this other head up. It's not all nicked up. Resurfaced, all that. Slap it back together, put it in the car, then take the motor that is currently blowing tons of smoke and rebuild that one properly. Carry this over to the shop. Hey man, it's already in the truck. It's act acting like it's, yeah, it's a little nicked up. <laughs> I think if anything, if we just like, like this is probably gonna be okay, but like that little piece, if we can just, just get that turn little- it, Turn it through and see if it's rubbing on the wall. Yeah, or if we can even get in there, like get it all the way up and get in there and try and smooth it down or something. Yeah. I don't know, there's still like- scotch right here, like I did to the 1J. Yeah, that thing <laughs> fucking- <laughs> You sold that thing running. <laughs> that only took like three years of nothing but limiter. So that's apparently that's that's your good that's your good luck recipe for your engines. They have to sit in the corner of a garage for a while, get rusty, and then go back. To the car. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna help Jason lift this motor, but uh, he just made me look like a bitch and just grabbed it, which is probably good because my back would probably break. I can lift this at least. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna dump all those shims out? Yep. Nope, it's fine. <laughs> Installed. Why is your dipstick tube like that? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I found two that'll work, but two's not four. Uh, uh, it's more coarse, huh? Yeah. It's not the best. <laughs> uh... Make sure we don't lose stuff. I need one of those pans that goes like... Oh yeah. Oh. Yep, there it goes. There we go. 
broke? Yeah. I wonder if that... I mean, that must have broken. Nothing fell out. Delete out. Oh, that broken piece of the timing cover. Oh. At least we know it's out. <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. What are, you, what are you doing right now, Julian? I'm giving it the same treatment that my 1J got. A little scotch Bright and WD-40. Fix it right up. And you basically just re-honed your cylinder wall. Now it'll be fresh. Oh, yeah. That looks fine. Well, it's not. There's a little chunk in there that scores up a bit. It's just machining. Come on down to Julian's Piss and Top Repair. <laughs> Just like sharp edges, huh? Yeah, more than anything. It's all right. It's rough around the edges, just like you, man. That's not, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually better than, I mean, it's, it's, it's not ideal. Dude. Oops, sorry, dude. Oh, God. Are you sure this is right? You just, I feel like... I feel like what? There's a hole already. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh shit. I can now. Make sure you get the right one. Oh my god. It just What's going on there, dude? I'm a fucking idiot and don't know how to weld aluminum. And now this hole's super contaminated because it started with the welder on the wrong setting. Dude, why does your weld look so shitty? Oh, uh, you know, YouTube. You're not very good at this. Hashtag weld porn. <laughs> Is it fixed? Sigh. Had to make a quick stop to the best in town. The man himself, Sun Tizzle. <laughs> <What up? laughs> Bye.
first drift. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? It's like fighting it. Just go faster. It moves under its own power. The, the Magic D machine. Is this an RB26, dude? It's an RB23. It's an RB18. The <laughs> <laughs> camera motor. Hey, it'll do a drift. <laughs> Dude, sick hammock. Oh <laughs> if you say it's the last time you're putting it on, that means it's probably not. This is the second to last time. I lost my nuts. Don't you hate when you misplace your nuts? I'm missing one nut. <laughs> There's my nut. Ah, you were laying on your nuts. Remember, remember how you said this was it? Yeah. What happened? Uh, you were right. What's up? I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Oh, pretty close. This is a key part of my car working right, you know? So. I gotta spend all night on this. Gotta get it right. How much, you want to, how much you want to put on that? Dollar? This? Two dollars? This is the last time that's going on. <laughs> you just said it though. Uh, you you, you say not supposed it, to you say know it. what happens when uh, you say it's the last time, right? When I say it, it's stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's right. probably not going to work. <laughs> yeah. You land a trick. That means well, that gotta, pipe gotta is going to work. You gotta give me the trick first. Keep it simple. Yeah, Tray flip. Let's see if this fucking works. Okay. You better lock them crocs, son. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, they're locked. Alright. Stay locked. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. So what happens if it doesn't fit? Yeah, let's see if it, it works. Does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> don't, don't touch the... Oh, yeah, dude. Is it money? It might could be. I mean, yeah. It, <coughs> it I, might I could be. It is. And then I get to hear <sighs> stock CA. Woo! Just because that worked out? Another trick for you. Please don't take my legs off. Okay, I will. Oh. Oh god, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <Yeah>. Start it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking mutant are you? I know, I would have been starting after that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it later. That's why I do it. Nice. Tools tucked in. Guess what? We're not done yet. <laughs> what? You gotta go to the bathroom or something? You're gonna put the car down. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> yeah.
Oh, he fucking took the keys. <laughs> oh, another right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I tried to, I couldn't find it. Confirmed, dude. You guys are dueling so hard right now. We're about to have a dual battle. You should have a dual duel. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> My legs are like fucking puke underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're just too sick with it. Why do you keep putting a fuse in if it's just gonna pop? Because it works fine before the alternator kicks on. That's when it pops it. Well, you're gonna want the alternator to kick on, so why would you keep sticking a fuse in it? Because I'm gonna turn it on before the alternator kicks on. <laughs> you're gonna try stay. to trick it? <laughs> now, now it doesn't run. You're gonna grow into a beautiful butterfly. Just kidding. Oh sh <laughs> Comfy. I don't need a seat. That's what it is, right? 
drift car here at Fine Line Imports. Miles has always tuned my car for as long as I've had this engine. It's been about six and a half, almost seven years. So it's kind of hard to see, but we are getting the car to break up on the dyno. You can see we tried getting the car pretty hot. The car is jumping about five to seven, eight degrees within 15 milliseconds. So we definitely have like a grounding issue. Just glad we were able to get the car to break up on the dyno because before I got off of work, he wasn't able to get the car break up. We just needed to get it kind of hot and do a lot of throttle modulation and all that to get it to break up. This is the story of my weekend. At final bout, I could not get the car to not break up on me, but now it's kind of almost gratifying seeing a little bit of hope that there is an issue. So it's really hard to see, but you can kind of see where my thumb is. A little bit of the copper wire. That's the engine coolant temp sensor. This metal part of the little insulator clamp was rubbing it. So hopefully, maybe now that it's not touching it, we'll wrap that up, see if we can run it on the dyno and hopefully not break up anymore. Otherwise, I gotta keep searching through the harness. Dropping a head off for Julian at the machine shop that's right behind Fine Line Imports. Fine Line Imports is right on that side. Machine shop right over here. It's a JNW engine and machine. They did all the stuff with my SR years ago. Super cool, super nice guy. Builds big boy stuff. Cams, head, hopefully we can make Julian a good motor.